Western Kentucky, this is a very good football team. You know, I understand what their record is, but they went toe to toe with Illinois. Um, this is a powerful offense, as you guys know. Four major categories. They're ranked in the top ten. Uh, their quarterback's going to be all uh, motivated and gassed up for this week as a local product. I remember Brandon from North Broward Prep. He's a good football player, and he throws the ball, throws an accurate ball, and throws it on time. So we have a great challenge there. They have a a big running back in number 33, who uh, all indications from articles are that he's going to be back. He got nicked up in their last game, but it sounds like he'll be back. They have six players with 18 catches or more, um, so they spread the ball around. They really, uh, like a lot of these timing offenses, I followed Coach Petrino at Arkansas, so I have a little bit of an understanding of what this offense is about. It's it's timing, and they're going to take what they feel you're giving them. Uh, and you can see that philosophy being uh, you know, used by Coach Brom, which makes sense. Uh, defensively, they're very athletic. They've got good size up front. They're in the 290, 300 range inside and the 240, 250 range at the defensive end spot. Their Mike linebacker is very productive as their leading tackler as well as their boundary safety. Uh, so they've got good players on that defense. They're very multiple which creates challenges. Um, three different fronts, three distinct fronts, uh, and three or four different coverages that they mix in a lot. So that creates some challenges that we look forward to.